In today's Entertainment City, we take a look back at the Hips' final concert of their Man Machine Poem Tour. But first, new information has been released about the death of Prince. According to multiple reports, police found mislabeled prescription bottles at Prince's Minneapolis estate. The pills were the powerful opioid fentanyl, but were inside a bottle marked Watson 385, which is a mixture between a leave and a weaker painkiller called hydrocodone. Police are leaning towards the theory that Prince did not know he was taking fentanyl, a drug that is 100 times more potent than morphine. It's still unclear how the pop star obtained the medication. He was not prescribed fentanyl before his death on April 21st. It was an emotional Saturday night throughout the country. The tragically hit playing their last concert of their Man Machine Poem Tour right where it all began 30 years ago in Kingston, Ontario. Nearly 12 million people from all over the world tuned into the show. The concert was streamed online, giving those outside Canada access to celebrate the tragically hip along with millions of others. Canadian funny man Will Arnett tuned in, tweeting, streaming the hip's last show, telling my son the impact Gord Downey had on me and Canada. Jimmy Fallon simply said, hashtag thank you tragically hip, respect. Pearl Jam frontman Eddie Vedder paused his concert in Chicago to say a few words about the massive concert. There's, there's something going on up in uh, north of the border tonight. There's a guy who's got a band called Tragically Hip. So they're up there going through the emotions up there. Uh, and I, I just want to send them our energy from our gathering up to their gathering. The three-hour show had its ups and downs. Gore Downey at times danced and strutted around the stage, but was also overcome with emotion during his performance of Grace 2. The Kingston concert concludes their 15-stop Man Machine Poem Tour. Thank you. Thousands of people turning out to the PNE in Vancouver this weekend for the one day pop extravaganza, Kiss Radio's Wham Bam. It brought out some of today's hottest stars, and Vancouver's Riaz Magji got to chat with some of the big A listers that brought down the house. We were born and raised here. This is what like the West Coast culture is all about. It's music, it's a festival here at the PE, classic summer event. It's going to be a great night. It is a great night. And if you didn't come, you're missing it. Headley and the PE, yes. it's been 10 years. You're back. What are they going to see when Headley's on stage? Well, all I know is where the stage is where the demolition derby used to happen, and we're going to maybe get some crashing going on yeah. on stage, so just yeah. watch and see. And how happy are you when you get to go on stage and connect with these bands that give you that live energy? I love when the crowd participates. They sing along, they dance, they jump, hands together. Like It's such a great feeling when you can have that human connection. Everyone's just smiling, and everybody's just having fun. Jason Derulo performed some of his biggest hits, and Trevor Guthrie brought 90s boy band Soul Decision out of retirement for the night to perform a number of fan favorites. As always, you get your entertainment news here first in the morning and anytime on Twitter at Ant City.